Okay, so I found this oyster fossil. Um, pretty neat thing. It's just kind of crusty looking and old. Um, I tried to wash it off um, and it got this really nice dark color when it was wet, but now it's kind of dull and gray again. And there's dirt and you know, I want to make it look pretty. Uh, so the idea here is I'm going to polish it with the Dremel, make a stand for it. Um, I'm going to use Wenge. This block here, it's about an inch thick. I'll probably do five inches or so. Um, cut it out, this will be really nice and dark. And then kind of stick it on like that. And then the, the stands will be aluminum. Um, so it'll be silver with sort of a black stand and this will probably be closer to black. I guess we'll see. Um, I'll be using the Dremel flex shaft connected to Dremel 4300. I'm gonna start out with polishing the oyster fossil. I'll be using the uh, the Dremel buffing compound, polishing compound, with um, one of these little wheels. Slowly, probably 15,000 RPM, and we'll see where that gets us. I think that's good. Okay, I feel like it's all coming off immediately. I think that was too fast. I'm gonna drop down to 10,000 RPM. Um, and I'm gonna use the smaller buffing wheel since it comes in two sizes. It's occurring to me, I don't know what I'm doing, but um, I don't wanna look it up. So I'm going to kind of just like smear this around so that this picks it up as it goes, because there's a lot of surface area. Um, and I'm hoping this is doing something. We'll see. At this point, I, I don't know if I'm just kind of wasting material here, but I'm just going to give it a couple more passes with the polishing wheel and then scrub it off and see if there's any difference. <coughs> okay, um, you know... We'll see if that did anything. Um, if anything, it'll make me clean it off better because uh, I'm going to take it to the sink with some dish soap and a toothbrush 
get all the red off, um, clean it up real nice, and then bring it back out here. Okay, well, I uh, scrubbed it all. Lots of detergent, hot water, toothbrush. Um, can I see an immediate difference from the polishing? Not really, but I don't know. We'll see once it dries. Um, so while it's drying, I'm gonna work on the base. I marked out about five inches. Um, I'm gonna round it and it's a little bit shorter than the oyster itself. Um, so we can work on that while this is drying. All right, to start us off, um, after I've done the pen outline here, uh, I'm gonna use the 561 cutting bit um, just to take this off the block and then round off these corners pretty roughly. I'm gonna use a uh, 20,000 RPM for this one. Okay. okay. So the block's disconnected. Um, I'm gonna switch off from the 561 to this Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr, still going 20,000 RPM um, to bevel these corners and then hopefully start to bevel the edges a little bit. Okay, cool. So I have this uh, shape, and um, I'm gonna stick with the cut saw extreme and bevel the edges on the top, and then we can get to sanding in a bit. Okay, so we have this shape, I don't know what you'd call that, um, but time for sanding. I'm gonna go in with a sanding disc. I think this is 200 grit that I glued on top. Um, go really quickly over, try to get rid of any edges. I want the entire thing round. Okay, uh, done with the sanding disc, um, really smooth, round, no hard edges. So I'm gonna go in now with some of these polishing wheels, um, up to 400 grit, just on the top here. Wenge is cool because these dark lines and the, and the, the lighter lines are um, different densities. So the polishing um, wheels give it a little texture since the lighter lines go in a little bit more. 
So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Okay, so I've got it polished as much as I want. It's really smooth, as you can see. This is also dry, so now I need to figure out how to mount them together. I'm gonna have it sort of raised like that. Um, and I'm gonna use these old polishing reels um, that I've been collecting. I'm gonna cut the, uh, the metal bits off of them and then use those as stands I think I'll stick three of them in here and then sort of have the oyster balanced on top. So let's, uh, let's cut these. I'll be using this um, metal easy lock cutting uh, disc, um, slowly 15,000 RPM. Um, and I'm gonna start out just making these as long as I can. I'm gonna do three of them. Okay, so I have all three cut out. They're pretty rough on the ends, as you can see, but I'm just gonna glue those down so that these ends are up top. Since they're eighth inch uh, shanks, that works out pretty well, because I can just use the uh, little tile cutting bit here, which is also an eighth of an inch, just to drill directly down to make perfect little holes for these to sit into. My plan right now is to drill the holes put a little glue into each of them, and then basically push them in as far as I want them to, to sort of orient the oyster, um, and then let them dry there. Okay, since this has this like curve, I feel like if I just do three points um, equally tall, it'll look fine. So I'm gonna kinda just guess. Um, these things aren't very long, so I wanna keep them as long as I can, so I'm really not gonna go deep with the holes. Okay. I've put three little dots. I'm gonna go in now with this tile cutting bit. Plunge straight down, not very deep, um, to make those holes for the stands. It's a little wiggle, so I'm gonna go deeper. It's much better, pretty straight. I guess I can test it. Yeah, that works. Okay, so before I glue them, I'll give it a quick pass with a buffing wheel, just to clean up these holes a little bit, and I'll get the glue. Alright, I'm gonna do these one at a time and hold them to ensure they dry straight up. I'm using some super glue.
and we'll just hold it. Next one. Same thing. Oh. Um, had some spillover. And I'm just gonna let this dry. Okay, I have some aluminum foil. Um, this is all dry, the oyster, but it's it's pretty dull. So I feel like if I put oil onto it, it would make it look a little fresher. Um, so I'm gonna put a really light um, layer of this lemon oil polish onto there um, and hope that doesn't ruin this thing. blotting um, since I don't want the paper towel to dissolve and get all cut up on this. And then uh, while that oil sets, um, I'll use this extra oil on the aluminum foil since the base is dried, so I can oil that now too. This, I love how, how deep the color gets with the oil. Really dark. Okay, um, apparently I did not glue that well enough. Oops. Well, here's the final product. So you can see it stands nicely on these aluminum rods on the winch base. Um, I don't know if the polishing really did much in the end, um, but I do like that this isn't connected, so you can sort of shift it around as you like. If I were to do this again, I'd probably use longer rods, um, but overall, pretty happy with that. The base came out really well, um, super nice and smooth, but the... Super glue, I think I little, went a little overboard where, uh, as you can see, it's coming out of the holes a bit, um, but I can sand that down later. Anyways, if you want to see any more wood carving videos and you're not already subscribed, make sure to check out the channel. I'll see you next time.